Welcome to Eldosh Graphics. My name is Mike Hoppe and I would like to start with a tutorial about measurement systems in specific UV scan. First of all I would like to explain the benefits of measuring UV dose compared to UV intensity. If you measure UV intensity you measure only the output of a UV bulb. In contrary, with a UV dose measurement, you measure the UV energy reaching the substrate. For the measurement of UV dose, I'm using a Hönle UV scan portable measurement system. The measurement of UV dose is measured with so-called UV strips which are flexible and can be attached even in sheet fed presses on paper. The measurement or after the radiation you have a color change in the strip and the color change is transferred into values millijoule per square centimeter which gives you then an indication about the condition of your UV system. Obviously I do not have a sheet fed press available for the demonstration of the UV scan so I'm using a laboratory belt system with a relatively small UV bulb and some standard A4 pages of white paper uh, to demonstrate how to operate the UV scan system. In the next sequence I will demonstrate a simulated aging of a certain UV bulb. So you will see three or four different measurements with three or four different values of UV dose starting at 160 millijoule per square centimeter down to approximately 90 millijoule per square centimeter. That represents the aging of a UV bulb and it's up to the user to decide when the curing result is no longer um, sufficient to exchange the bulb. That depends of course on the process you are running, which type, which type of inks, which type of coatings and so on. The benefits of UV scan are obvious. You have easy to operate strips which can be used in a sheet fed press. They are flexible, they are easy to operate and easy to compare. There are also some remarks which you should know. The UV scan is no absolute measurement method. You have of course tolerances in the, in the strips themselves and you can compare one module, meaning you can compare the module when the bulb is new. You take a reference measurement with a reference value in millijoule per square centimeter and over the time you will recognize the aging of the UV bulb and then you can decide if the curing result is no longer sufficient to exchange the bulb. <laughs> 